Good evening, I am Jack Fuji, and welcome to the fifth session of Agriculture 194C, Focus on Agriculture. Focus on Agriculture is a one credit course offered by your College of Agriculture, Forestry and Natural Resource Management here at the University of Hawaii at Hilo. And we come to you live every Thursday evening from the television studios located on the Mo'okini Library here on the University of Hawaii at Hilo campus. And uh, we also come to you by the Hawaii Interactive Television System and your local community service channel. Before I go on, I'd like to make a few announcements. If I could have the Elmo, please. Uh, if you have to get a hold of me, there are several ways that you can. One is by snail mail at uh, UH Hilo, College of Agriculture, Forestry, and Natural Resource Management, Management, 200 West Kawili Street, Hilo, Hawaii, 96720 4091. You can also get a hold of me by phone at 933-0850 or 974-7393 and by fax at 974-7674. And for those of you on the internet, you can email me at jfujii at hawaii.edu. Also, I'd like to remind you, if you are taking the course for credit, your recipes are due on March 31st. So make sure that uh, you get your recipes into me either uh, by mail or just bring it in uh, to the classroom here, or you can email uh, your recipe to me. Since we are coming to you live at approximately 8 p.m., those of you in the viewing audience and, of course, those of you here in the classroom can ask questions. So I hope all of you will jot down a few questions and uh, give us a call uh, at approximately 8 p.m. and uh, ask your questions. We have another very uh, interesting presentation for you tonight. Tonight we're featuring the Central Fire Station, uh, the... Uh, Hawaii County firefighters and uh, you know they always uh, do all their cooking in the firehouse so they're excellent cooks so my guest this evening actually Lloyd Naramatsu was supposed to be here but uh, he had to go to a meeting Lloyd is the uh, assistant fire chief but uh, he left behind all of his uh, firefighters we have uh, Vern Hara and Vern if you can wave your hand and uh, also, we have Carl Piers and Chadwick Chun Fat and uh, Ren Victorino, Darwin Okinaka, and Jane Pacheco. So, we're going to have uh, some real interesting dishes. So, I'm going to turn the class over to the firefighters and we can start cooking. All right. Okay, the first dish is going to be a pork soup. We'll start off with a uh, uh, chopped pork. Um, turn on the stove. Oh, this one, this one. Turn on, yeah. Some oil. So, who who came up with this uh, dish, Ren? Is this one of your specialties? Ah, I got this out of a recipe book. Okay. And it's it's a pretty it's a pretty good dish. Yeah, go ahead. You can go ahead and show this guy in. Then uh, some of you folks are on duty tonight, so hopefully we don't have an emergency. Well, I was just about to burn them. So yeah, you can uh, fry up the pork. Okay. And then join some garlic. Okay. I don't know, maybe about a couple tablespoons of garlic. A couple tablespoons yeah. of chopped garlic. Chopped garlic. Okay. And just brown, brown the garlic. Okay. Yeah. Let's continue browning it. Burning so how, how do you know who's going to do the cooking at the firehouse? Whoever wants to cook. So, so every, everyone does their cooking, so everyone's got to do a good job cooking, otherwise they're going to get you, huh? <laughs> I see. Our so. station, we actually have uh, quite a bit of guys in the so. Usually the extra guy at the station yeah, goes out, makes the recipe, and he goes and cooks. So, so how, how many We're people do you have over there at Central Fire Station? I think our shift, we, we have 11 guys 11 shift. 
but a and, lot of and the shift is uh, what 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 is one shift? Is that three days on or something? It's a twenty four hour shift, yeah. Twenty four hours for three days in a row. Uh, every other day, like yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh I see. Uh, okay. So we got a we got a day off in between. <clears throat> so yeah, just just brown them up. So, so if, if anybody out there the hottest, wants to become a firefighter, what do they have to do? Let me move on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, first, you have to take a test. We have a written test that uh, the county civil service puts together. They usually advertise it, uh, I think, on Sundays. I'll see if when it comes out. Um, I'm not sure exactly when. You might want to go down, if you're interested, you can go down to the civil service office, I think, and you can put your name in and on a list, and when the test comes up, I think they might notify you. If not, they might <coughs> let you know uh, when to come in and check. Yeah. And then when, when it does pop up uh, on the Sunday paper, you can go down and get an uh, application, apply, and then take the written test. If you pass that, then there's an agility test that you can uh, take, that you will have to take, I should be, excuse me. So, so this uh, ability test, what do you have to do? You got to be pretty physically fit. Agility is, it's, yes, it's a physical test that you have to go. It's uh, swimming, running, uh, sandbag drag, and a hose bundle carry is what it is. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and some uh, sliced onions. Okay, some sliced onion, about how much? About maybe one round onion, okay. medium size. Mm. Right at Central Fire Station. And then, uh, what, what else are you going to put in there now? Okay. Well, we're still trying to brown, brown the meat yet. Trying to brown yeah. the pork, okay. soften up the onions. So you, you guys don't only fight fires, you, you uh, do other kinds of duties uh, at Central, right? What, what, what other duties do you do? Yeah, besides, uh, Firefighting, we also provide the EMS service. Uh, I think we're the only um, <clears throat> island in the state that provides the ambulance service. I see. So besides, and also, we also do rescue, and uh, now we have the hazmat, so, yeah. All around it. We're also known as the highest paid janitors, maybe you could say, around. <laughs> we have station routines, so it you know, encompasses Cleaning the house, scrubbing the toilets, everything like you do at home, we got to do it at the station. Like, so yeah, Ronald, that's uh, the firehouse is home away from home. Huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly what it is, pretty much. Too, yeah, I, I notice those fire trucks are always nice and shiny, so you guys, uh, yeah. what kind of wax do you, no, no, we better not say. <laughs> I, I, I cannot uh, advertise. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try uh, trying the dry shrimp. Okay, about Eddie. How much? Eddie. One, Eddie. one package of yeah. this. Yeah, package. Okay. Continue. Find that guy. So, how often do you guys come up with a new uh, recipe over there at the firehouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. If you're tired of eating the same thing, then <clears throat> you can go out and look for something. Yes. Yeah. So if you see so, something so new, like on you, this show, maybe here we can try it out. Do you have a set menu? Like, okay, Monday you're gonna have this. Tuesday you're gonna have this. No, I'll spur the moment. Yeah, it depends what you're hungry for. <laughs> if you're hungry for something, then you'll go and cook that. Oh, I see. And, and who does all the shopping? Or do the cooking? Oh, I see. Friends are head chef now. Designated chef. Okay, I'm going to throw in the whole tomatoes. It's okay. Can whole tomatoes. Uh, two cans. Two cans of whole tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that the spicy tomato or just a regular? Just regular, regular, regular whole okay. tomatoes. Wow, yeah, it looks good. Starting to smell good too. And then, about a pack, a package of uh, dashi. Oh, dashi no moto. Okay. Soup base. So when you cook, you gotta cook enough for 11 people. Yeah, this is a small scale. Usually our shopping bill for the day, which includes our lunch and dinner, usually around $100, uh -huh. give or take. Some days more if we buy a lot of ice cream and desserts. Uh, I see. <laughs> Some so, days less if somebody yeah. brings from home. So what happens if uh, you don't have enough food for everybody? 
That, that never happened. Not you'll in never, our station. You'll never forget about it. Put it that way. <laughs> yeah, if it ever did. So I'm going to add some water now. Forget about that one. Okay. Add uh, about how much water would you say? Uh, maybe about four ladles. Okay. Maybe that's about two cups, maybe. Yeah. Thereabouts. These firefighters, okay. they all... Oh, medic. They all eyeball these things. Yeah. So. Okay. You gotta excuse us here. We don't cook with recipes at the station. Most of us just go by taste. So we got the word to do this. We're kind of rambling on for lost for words on our recipes. <laughs> so right now, Jimmy has to go. We got a medical call. Yeah. So we're gonna lose one of our guys. So, so yeah. some okay, garlic they... salt. Garlic salt to yeah. taste. Yeah. To taste. Yeah. Okay, so, so two two of the firefighters had to leave now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some. Yeah, the call. Jimmy back here was on a, uh, he's on one of the medics, so Some a lot pepper. of our calls are medical calls, so. Okay. A high percentage of them. Then black yeah. pepper to taste. Yeah. To taste. Yeah. And this is some fish sauce. Patis. Patis. Yeah. Okay. Um, patis, fish sauce. Yeah. About, I don't know, about a spoonful or so. We have, yeah, about a spoonful. About a spoon. tablespoon? Uh -huh. Spoon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you may be on two tablespoons yeah. about. Yeah, about two tablespoons. And some oyster, oyster sauce. sauce. Yeah, another two tablespoons. Okay, a couple tablespoons of uh, oyster sauce. And then, show you. Uh, where to go sure, right <coughs> Again, another uh, two tablespoons or so. Okay, a couple tablespoons of soy sauce or to taste. And just simmer that, simmer it a little while. And then we'll add in the squash, some long beans and uh, eggplant, long eggplant. Okay. So yeah, usually at work, we not busy. You know, we all share in cutting, I cleaning, see. you know, <laughs> cooking while somebody does something. So it's usually um, a team. We all work yeah. together, yeah. But. Not always uh, everybody's there. Maybe one guy might be there, everybody on a call, so you gotta kind of do it himself. Okay, so about how much uh, that's a. Uh, uh, I would say. Quart, a quart uh, Ziploc bag. Quart Ziploc bag of chopped. Uh, what was that? A squash. Just a long squash. The like Hyaton. the zucchini? No. The Hyaton um, squash, the club looking one. Oh, okay. Squash. Yeah, squash. Okay. And this is some long beans. Okay, long beans. That's about another. Uh, yeah, well, maybe about cup. Yeah. And of course, if you like long beans, you put a little bit more in. Or? Yeah, whatever. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then some eggplant. Okay, sliced up eggplants. Wymanello long. <laughs> Wymanello long, okay. <laughs> okay, and just let it simmer. And that's all the ingredients? Pretty much, yeah. And you can adjust the taste. I mean, you can taste it and just adjust, you know, okay. the salt and pepper. You can switch them over, check. You really put one there? Yeah, yeah. So does everybody chow down at the same time at the fire station? Yeah, most, yeah, most of the stations, we all eat together. Yeah. So you actually cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Uh, just lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, the shift before leaves some extra food, and that's what we use for breakfast there. So that's, oh, that's, I see. That's just a, yeah. Thing we have. Yeah, when we come in, usually we have some extra food from the shift before. We everybody eats that for breakfast if you don't have anything at home. So we have lunch and dinner, and in turn our leftovers for the next guys in the morning. Or when we get off, we you know we eat our leftovers. So we pretty much try to cook right. enough for the uh, next oh, morning so we I can see. have some kind of breakfast. Yeah. Get rid of this guy. No, it's already yeah. cut up. Wow. Yeah. So when you're cooking and then there's a fire call or something, you, you just gotta yeah. set everything aside just, and if, go yeah. on fire call. Turn the stove off and go. Like our station is not too bad. We have a lot of guys. So, you know, like we, we house a big tanker at our station. Yeah, so so usually our tanker driver or so sometimes even eight. if we have yeah. an extra firefighter, they, you know, we might be able to leave them back depending on the type of call that it is. And you know they don't they don't have to go, so they can yeah, stay back and do the yeah. cooking. So that's pretty much the guy who 
cooks either if we have an extra firefighter or the tanker driver usually is who you know who cooks unless someone wants to cook something that they didn't cook. We keep it that way, but like the smaller stations, you know, they only got a couple of guys, some four. Yeah, not brown, We've yeah. had a couple of stations with, you know, a couple of guys, one, two maybe. Okay. And yeah, those guys, sorry for them because once, you know, they got to go, they got one call. Okay. And they're out. Okay, okay uh, so Ren, uh, we're going to start you, on a second dish. That's a porcupine the meatballs. meatballs. Yeah, it's pretty oh, popular with the. Younger kids. Now, why the heck they call it porcupine? <laughs> well, it's good. There's rice in here, so after the rice cooks, it'll stick up out of the meatball, so it looks like oh, porcupines. Yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. So we start with hamburger. Maybe about a pound of hamburger. <clears throat> pound of hamburger. Yeah. Okay. And then, in the meantime, Vern's gonna brown some uh, bell peppers, uh, both green and yellow. Okay. The yellow is mainly for color. Some chopped up uh, green and yellow bell yeah, pepper. So just, I don't know, maybe so none. Yeah, yeah, just okay, maybe a bun. Just a bun. Yeah, just, uh, <coughs> and for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194C. And this evening we're featuring the Hawaii County firefighters, and uh, we have the firefighters from the central uh, station located uh, over there. Where, where is that? Uh, right at the corner of Hawaii and, and Puna Hawaii Street. Puna Hawaii, okay. okay. With the bell peppers, I'm going to add some onions. Okay. Some chopped onions. About how much would you say? Uh, maybe about Three tablespoons, four tablespoons. Okay, about so. three tablespoons of yeah, chopped yeah, round yeah. onions. And then just saute uh, that. Then in this bowl, leg mix then. Okay. Okay. This bowl, uh, there's a the hamburger and about half a cup of rice or so. Okay, half a cup of rice <clears throat> mixed with the hamburger. Mixed with the hamburger. Um, about a half a can of like stewed tomatoes. This one has the bell pepper, some bell peppers inside, okay. some spice inside. Okay, the spicy stewed tomatoes, about a half a can, you say? Yeah, about half a can. Okay. Chad, get um, the onion soup. Oh, still over here, Chad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then up one package of uh, onion soup mix. Okay, one package of onion soup mix. Yeah. Right. So who who came up with this recipe? Uh, I got it from my mother-in-law. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So actually, all all the firefighters are pretty good cooks, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> most of them. <laughs> there might be a few that not too good at cooking. Some stations they take turns. Still, yeah. yeah. One guy cooks and every then, day, and then they rotate constantly. Oh, yeah, rotate yeah. out of a schedule. We we'll crack one egg inside. Okay, one egg. So, what made uh, most of you guys go into the firefighting uh, profession? Uh, my dad was a firefighter, so. Uh, I've been around the firehouse my whole life, and I like the schedule that he had. A lot of days off. So some garlic salt and some pepper to taste. Okay, garlic salt and pepper to taste. Yeah. Okay. Only other thing though, you gotta stay at the fire station. So if you had family, sometimes it might be a little hard. You gotta stay away. But like, do we only work three days, and then we have like a four-day off shift? You know, three days of work. Like we were talking earlier, um, 24 hours, and then we go on four days off. So we actually spend more time at home than we do at work. So you, know, you can't really beat the schedule. Okay, and then I guess you can mix, mix some I don't know, little meatballs and put them over there. Shit. Yeah, well, can you get another pan or something or bowl? Uh, so is it uh, better for? Uh, 
you know, if, if you drive the fire truck, does that mean you got a higher position? The drivers usually, yeah. You come in as a firefighter, recruit, like Carl back here, he's going through EMT class. He's one of the recruits we have right now. Um, I think it's like three months, yeah, three months of fire training. Then you got another three or four months of uh, medical EMS, EMT training. Then after that, you come out and you go online as a firefighter. Then after a few years, I think it's five, yeah, five years now. You have to wait before you can take the FEO exam, which is the driver exam, the driver test to become a driver. But so I added some uh, flour, about a tablespoon or so. Tablespoon yeah. of flour, okay. And the this is the other, the, the other half of the can of uh, tomatoes. Okay. Say some balls ago. Whatever. Yeah. And I'm gonna add another can. Where's the can opener? Oh, it's right, right over here next to the bowl. Right yeah. There. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, you, after five years, you can take the FEO test. And I think so I'm not sure what the you know what the captain one is. It was like eight years or something. I'm so not sure exactly. So eventually, what the all the firefighters become a paramedics also. Not paramedics. EMTs. Everyone who gets hired goes through EMT school. Everyone becomes an EMT. What does that stand for? Uh, emergency medical technician. I see. When you see ambulance going, the guy that's driving the ambulance is the EMT, and then we have the MICT, which is the paramedic. Uh, that there, it's it's up for option, if you want to go to the class or not. So you have you have you you have cert certain um uh, yeah I can think of the word so if you're if you're a paramedic as well as a firefighter then your your pay increases a little bit yeah quite a bit actually <laughs> it's a pretty good pay raise for the for the paramedics so I actually see. it's pretty good yeah but I think it's like eighty percent of our cars are medical calls so you can understand why you know they they're running most of the time like at central. I think we get like, on the average, eight to ten calls a shift, maybe. Um, sometimes we go up to like the most I have is like sixteen, which is not much more than an hour a call, you know. And that's pretty much almost staying up all night. So you know we do have some sleepless nights there. But some yeah. I see. Mm. Okay. And so now you say the, the rice is going to cook in those meatballs and it's going to kind of pop out? Yeah. Taking too long here, talking too much. <laughs> so so uh, you just put in the regular rice. You don't pre-cook the rice. It's just the regular yeah. rice. Just regular in. rice, yeah. You can use uh, cooked rice too. I've never done it, but um, I'm sure you could. Change up the I rice think the rice expands more, so you get the effect if it's uncooked. And so when Probably. you fry the, the meat, uh, the pork, Yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to place the, the sauce over and just let it simmer again. Oh, simmer. okay. Yeah. Huh. yeah, I think so. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, oh, yeah. it's smelling good, folks. And then uh, we of, also put in some tomato, tomato sauce. sauce. Yeah. One can of tomato sauce yeah. after that. Okay, <clears throat> one can of tomato sauce. What do you think the, the hardest duty is uh, being a firefighter? Uh, yeah, just a little bit water. The hardest duty? Mm -hmm. Probably fighting a fire. And so, say. do you folks uh, uh, okay, give okay. classes sometimes so people will know what to do in case there's a fire or something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, they can get the cover. Not really classes. The kids come down with the school a lot. So, you know, with elementary schools, preschools, they come down to the station for visitations and we try to, you know, express as yeah. much as we can for safety around the house. No, what to do, stress what to call, how to call yeah, 911. Yeah. 
So if there's some school teachers more. watching now and they wanted to bring their class to the fire station, what do they have to do? Medium, all right. Uh -huh. um, you could call and schedule whatever uh, district you're in. I guess you can, if you want, to nearest fire station. I'm not sure if the numbers are in the book or where they find them. But I think I think it's under the the front section of the uh, telephone directory okay. under the county. Yeah? Okay. The fire. If, if yeah, if if they have the fire for each station or whichever, or even if you can get some kind of fire department phone number, you can call that number and see if you can get the number for your the station that you want to go to, and you could schedule a appointment with usually the captain. You can call ask for the captain on duty or for the day you mentioned the day you want to come in to see what shifts on duty. I see. And then they might tell you to call back, you know, when that shift is working, so you can schedule your day with uh, the captain. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Uh, okay, so we're just going to simmer that uh, porcupine meatballs. Meatballs, okay. And then we'll start on our third dish, which is the squid. And Chad's going to walk you through that. Okay. Tomato squid, or squid tomato. Yeah. There's a Filipino name for this dish. Okay. But none of us seem to know it. <laughs> oh, so this, this is Filipino dish? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, made up of this uh, squid, the deep water ika. Okay. You, know, you can buy it in like two or five pound boxes. Okay. Uh, chopped up tomatoes, garlic, okay. onions, uh, patis, garlic salt and pepper, seasoned to flavor, and um, put a little bit of shoyu inside. Okay. All of that is pretty much to flavor, I mean. You can adjust all the uh, ratios depending on how you like it. Okay, so what's the first so thing first, you do? First, uh, put oil in the pot. Okay. Then uh, th throw in some um, minced garlic, brown <clears throat> garlic first. Okay. A little vegetable oil and then uh, some chopped garlic. Garlic, yeah. Uh, preparation for the squid. In the uh, body part of the squid, there's like a plastic membrane. Right. Which is a soft, bony structure of the squid. Uh, you would remove that. Okay. There's a beak. A beak. You slit in between the legs, open up, pull the beak out. Okay. And then you would uh, slit along the eyes and squeeze out the eyes. There's like a little pellet in each eye, a real small one. Okay. Some people cook it with a lot of that stuff, but... Okay. We usually uh, take all that out. So there's a beak at the base of the tentacles, and you take that out, and you take the eyeballs out. Yes. And you take out the, the that the thin bone. Cartilage. Okay. And what about all the other stuff that's Onions. inside the squid? That's all cooked. Or you leave that all in there? Yeah. Onions. Okay. Yes, yeah. the good stuff. So we're throwing in some onions now. Okay. Just like a few, a few pinches of onion. Okay. Usually we'll cook a, a lot, a lot more for our station, but this is just like a small portion. Okay. So he's browning the garlic and the onion. That's, that's almost like uh, one onion, one round onion. Yeah. Thereabouts. Like I said, you can pretty much, uh, it's flexible with all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you like more onions, put more onions. If you like it more saucy from the tomatoes, put more tomatoes. Likewise with patisse, garlic salt. So how long you folks been in the fire department? I've been in uh, nine years or so. Nine years? Give or I'm take. going to make 11 years. 11 and? I mean, just my may will make four years for myself. OK, and uh, who do we have? Uh, Vern. Jane? Vern Hara. Yeah, Vern? I, just, I just got in about a year ago. OK. And then? Uh, Carl. Carl? Yeah, I've been about, in about four. Eight months. Yeah. Okay. He's in a uh, recruit training right now. Yeah, I see. So now we're gonna add the squid. So that's uh, a two five pound. Uh, a box. Okay. Yeah, this is like a box. Maybe that's only yeah, like one about box. Two, two pounds, three pounds or so. Yeah. But you know, you let the station will cook more than that. I see. But and then you chop it up or no, just, just like that whole. whole. So you, when you eat it, it'll be like a whole piece. Ah. What happens is when you cook it in a, it's really soft. But once you cook it in the pot. By the time the dish is ready, it'll be a lot stiffer. I see. And then some of these uh, squid have all eggs in it. Oh. So the head is full of eggs. Oh. So if you get one like that, when you open it, it's like rock hard inside. So it's kind of like the better ones. A surprise. But it all depends on your taste. <laughs> and and uh, it tastes good. To us. Okay. But everybody's different, so. All right. 
Okay, so now I put that in and throw in the tomatoes. Pretty much just let it stew all together after this. So about how many tomatoes would you say that is? About roughly? three or so. Three tomatoes, whole about tomatoes. Three, three tomatoes all sliced up. Yeah, uh, wedges. You can you know, cube it up or whatever. It'll just all break down. So if you uh, cut it really small, it'll break down a lot faster. I see. Uh, less, less simmering time. Okay. And some garlic salt to taste. Pretty much everything is uh, eyeball. That's what we see <laughs> at the station. We okay. just cook by eye. So. And a little bit patisse. Oops, too much. About how much would you say that is? Uh, about maybe um, two tablespoons, maybe. Okay. So you guys cook all different kinds of ethnic dishes, huh? Some, yeah, pretty much. Try. <laughs> you know, if we have a slow day, then a little more time to be creative. But um, we never know if it's going to be a slow day or a busy day. It all, it all depends. Weekend, weekday, you know. Some days aren't busy, we'll get one call, two calls. Other days, like Darwin said, we'll have 16 calls. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, it yeah, can get pretty hectic. Yeah. Yeah. Add a little bit of shoyu too. Okay. Maybe about three tablespoons, like I say, give or take. Okay. That's 3.1. And just mix it up and let, and let it simmer. So this is actually an uh, authentic uh, Filipino yeah, dish. What is the name? Darla? What do you think the name? What was something? I know, I, my my father-in-law used to make something like this. I think you should just call it squid soup. Squid but soup. I'm not sure you you had a, you had a name for that. What's that word? Squid disaro. Disaro. Whatever that means. Squid disaro. Okay. So we just. You gotta cover. Then, then you just ah. let that simmer now. Uh huh. Okay. So we've got simmering uh, now, out. porcupine meatballs, no, pork soup, and tomato squid. And we still have two other dishes to go. Okay, so uh, Darwin's going to be making the next dish. Okay, it's a pork the tofu, next, Darwin. Yeah. The next dish is a pork tofu with watercress. Yeah. Start and for those pork. of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194C, focus okay. on agriculture. And this evening we're featuring the uh, Hawaii yeah. County Firefighters. And uh, we have this evening uh, Vern Hara, Carl Pierce, Chadwick uh, Chun Fat, and uh, Ren Victorino. Darwin Okinawa and Jane Pusheko. Oh, <laughs> and I think James left, right? Yes, yeah, he, he went on to a go. medical call. Okay, Jen, Jim had to go on a medical call. Okay, I hope there's not a big fire because otherwise you're, you're gonna, gonna to leave me here and I'm gonna have to finish off the cooking <laughs> yeah. here. Yep. Like we say, we live on our toes at the firehouse. You don't know when we're gonna get any calls. Yeah, so um, once in a while we'll order out uh, lunch, dinner, you know, it depends if we have like a really yeah, busy day. I see. A few times we had like uh, house fires called structure fires. We'll be there for like hours. Uh, so by the time we get back, there won't be any time to cook, say, if it's lunch time or dinner time. I At see. that time, we'll just order out. So uh, the, the, the county provides you with the funds to buy your meals? Every firefighter has, it's either 6 50 or $7 a day. Cool. Put into account an account for the station. So if there's 11 guys, they'll put seven dollars for 11 guys. I see. Um, that's pretty much your budget that you have to use for that day. I see. Like at Central, our budget is always over that hundred dollars uh, or more, and okay. that doesn't include staples. So what you doing, Darwin? Okay, we started our pork tofu here. Uh, what I'm doing is I just put in some onion and garlic, browning it up. Okay. Some flavor in there. Right now, for this amount, maybe I say half a half a round onion or so. Okay. A couple cloves of garlic diced up. Uh, the onion just chopped up. Okay. Um, gonna use about two to three pounds of pork, maybe. Okay, two to three pounds of pork. Yeah, this is that pork butt or? Yeah, well, we, we usually just buy pork butt because at the stations, you know, like we say, we, we cook for so much guys, so it's cheaper to buy them by the pork butt. But you can just buy regular chopped pork, okay, which is fine. But uh, I think this is a pork butt we caught up. So those are all cut to bite size or something? 
little bit on it. Yeah, strips, maybe, I'd say, let's tell you about it, shop part, maybe like half inch square by inch and a half or so, slice okay. them up. These are a little, just really just pop chunks. Yeah. Put a fork in. So about uh, how many different uh, recipes do you folks have over there at the firehouse? Um, I don't know. It all right. changes. Hard to say. We have a few cookbooks also <laughs> that um, you know, nobody has any ideas or wants something different. Oh, we just look through the cookbooks and then, you know, shop accordingly. <clears throat> so we got our pork there browning. We should put in some salt and pepper. Um, let to go. I'm not one to cook by recipe, so it's, it's a little hard for me to explain, but I'll try my best to say how much about. That's, I would say, maybe a teaspoon or so of salt. Okay. And same with the pepper, just to taste. Okay. Let's get some flavor up on there. Huh? Yeah. So we're going to just brown that. And if you get your tofu, well, that's going. I already cut it up, but our uh, tofu, we like to slice it up, maybe like one inch chunks. Okay. It's the average size that we use. And you use the firm tofu? Or firm the... tofu, yeah. Okay. If not, it'll be broken up. And these two, and I, I like to put watercress in my pork tofu, so. Oh, yeah, that's Same a lot thing. of watercress. Huh? Yeah. Well, I About how many bunches? Quite a bit. Because I was gonna cook for more, but yeah, we usually order. I usually the amount we cook for this amount, one bunch is plenty. Okay. One bunch is plenty. Um, wash it clean and then cut them into like inch and a half, yeah, inch and a half long or so. Okay. This is a little big, but yeah, you can you know, look about that kind of size. You can just chop it all up, and that's what we're gonna put inside. Um, this dish here, this amount probably will feed, uh, I'd say about six people maybe. All depends on how big you eat. Okay. How much, yeah, how big an eater you are. But. Well, if it's for six firefighters, maybe it might be. Yeah, you know, this is not jack. quite enough here. <laughs> for, for, a, for a regular sized meal, I'd probably get a whole pork butt, eight to 10 pounds or so, with like maybe four of these containers. Okay. And two bunches of watercress, you know, that's pretty much the scale we, we got to cook it for, for the firehouse, but right now. And we like it meaty, so we, we always add in a little more meat than, than, okay. the, than the norm. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you suggest, like if we have some people out there that want to become a firefighter, what do you, what do you suggest they study and, and what, uh, you know, what are their best chances of getting in to become a, a firefighter recruit? In your opinion, Carl just got yeah, Carl just these guys just took the last step. Yeah, get the over there, Carl. Join the there. join the group there. Yeah, well, uh, you gotta stay in really good shape, um, or get in really good shape before you start, and uh, you just gotta swim a lot because we go through a lifeguarding week. It's all done in Kona, and for the whole week you're swimming. You so know, you, eight hours a day. You swim in the swimming pool or in the ocean? Yeah, um, four out of the five days we're in the swimming pool, and the fifth day. Actually, we went out to Hapuna and got dropped off by the chopper and we're swimming uh, along the beach, doing some rescues in the water. Wow. Yeah. And then the fire training is pretty rigorous. Uh, a lot of running and um, just hard work, real hard work. So you really got to stay in shape, yeah? Yeah. Like right now we're in EMT training, so there's no, no really uh, physical training we got to go through, but you just kind of got to run on your own. Because yeah. right after this, we have to go back to fire training for two more weeks. And you got to stay in shape. It's going to be real tough. So how, how long is the basic firefighting training? How uh, long does it take? About? They say 14 weeks is 14 the basic weeks. Fire, firefighter one three, training. Three and a half months, I guess. Wow. Uh, usually. I say four months and six months. Four months. Four months. Yeah. So is it, is it almost like kind of like a basic training in the military? 
Uh, not really. I don't think it's quite that bad. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. On a lower scale, pretty close. Let's see. We just do more hose handling instead of guns. <laughs> so, so uh, say if you had to swim, how far would you have to swim? Actually, me and some other recruits go down about six o'clock in the morning. We swim about a thousand yards in the morning. Thousand just, yards. Just so we can keep up. So. Yeah, I think that's what I don't know if that's what the. When you go through your rescue training, that lifeguard training, at the end of that one week, is it one week now still? It's still one yeah, week. Yeah, one week of well, water training. And that's the exam. It's a thousand yard run and a thousand yard swim back to back. So that's what you're shooting for. So if you can do that, then it's, it's pretty good. Thousand yard swim and a thousand yard run. Yeah, back to back. And what, what about pulling those sandbags? That's the agility. Training. Oh, okay. That's before you even get hired. There's a written test that you take, like I was explaining, when you go to civil service, you apply. If uh, you, When you apply, you get chosen. Well, everyone who applies, I guess, takes the written test. And you, if you pass the written test, then you go and um, take, the, I think they, I'm not sure, I think the top 100 they take, I'm not sure, on the, depending on the amount that they're going to hire. But yeah, yeah. So what kind of question do they ask on the test? It's a general aptitude test. Reading comprehension, yeah. mathematics. Uh, so they have you read something and then they ask you questions about what you read right. and things yeah. like that. It was like half the test is reading comprehension. You got some math, I think algebra, algebra level math. Okay. You got some mechanical uh, wheels and pulleys and stuff and then some charting. When I took the test, that was like yeah, four years ago. I had some charting stuff and some mm -hmm. graphs, graph work. But that's what it you know, was made up of. I don't know if it changed any in the past couple of years. I see. Okay. Qualifications is a high school degree or equivalent. High school degree or equivalent. Okay. Is there an age? There's no age. I rent. I think 18. Yeah, yeah at least 18. Yeah, as long as you're at least 18. School. At one point, it used to be 21, but we used to do the uh, CDL licensing, but the department has its own licensing uh, certificates now. So we. What, what about? Uh, a height limitation, or do you have to be so tall? I'm not no. sure. I don't think they have any requirements for height. And, and what about, you know, nowadays uh, uh, equal opportunity? So, what about women? Can yeah, they can. women, yeah, yeah, they can. We have one actually right now. She's going to be She's starting a, Monday. Well, yeah, we have one, one in the department, in the department right department. now. She's a paramedic on the corner side. So, yeah. when you're a paramedic, you can actually save lives and, and things like that, yeah. right? Ren was a paramedic for how many years? He just gave it up recently. So you do CPR. What is, what is we those? We're all trained in uh, first aid. So, um, you know, when, when someone's heart stopped defibrillate. beating, yeah. what do you call that? Defibrillate. And you guys actually know how to do that yeah. too, huh? You can do almost anything a doctor can do. Wow. Push drugs, give morphine, you know, pretty much everything. But the um, only difference is it's not a controlled setting or environment. I see. We're we doing it on the road, you know, if it's a mean auto it's accident. It's like an emergency room on wheel, wheels. Oh. Pretty much so. It's a little more intense and you don't have the manpower. Usually there's only two guys uh, two trying to take care of the patient. Uh, there's oh. one back and then after you get them packaged and ready oh, to no, uh, ship this. to the hospital, one of those guys got to drive. I see. Which is usually the EMT and the MICT will stay in the back and monitor him. Okay. All the way to the hospital. So, okay, Darwin, now you're doing some stuff so, there. Tell yeah. us what you're doing. I just started the pork is just about done now so i'm gonna start flavoring it up so i base it on a uh, show you in sugar kind of okay taste so um uh jeez i would say for that maybe uh, not even a quarter cup of show you show you just about a one eight to a quarter cup of show you okay and about the same for the sugar or maybe not even just yeah Okay. Say, maybe two, three tablespoons. Okay, about two or three tablespoons yeah, of sugar. I'll try and taste it and see how it is, and then okay. just go to taste and see how you know. You might not want it too sweet. Maybe you might not want to put sugar in at all. But okay. Let's just mix it up. Stir them. And yeah, how, how does it look in the wok? Get in there. You have to show you to give it some color. Okay. 
Maybe our overhead camera can zoom into that walk and we can see uh, what it looks like. Yeah. Get some mirin too. Okay. Some mirin? White, yeah. Cooking white wine. I'd say maybe a couple of tablespoons also of that. Okay. So Darwin, where'd you, where'd you get this recipe from? <laughs> I just made up the sauce. I just did it on my own. You know, one day I wanted to eat it. I tried this and that. Watched my dad cook when I was young. We tried it out. I like the taste, so that, that's how I came up with the, the taste. So I guess your dad must be a pretty good cook too since he, yeah, he was a fireman, Yeah, he, huh? he was a pretty good cook. He did a lot of the cooking at home when we were growing up, so I used to watch him a lot and I myself like to cook, so that's good. <clears throat> so. so recently uh, there, was a, there was a paramedic plane that went down in Hilo. Yeah. And, and so you folks were involved in that? in. Uh, Rescuing, yeah, Chad here, he was part of our, our rescue company, so he, he, he had a part in that. I don't know, a lot of you might have seen him on TV. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, we got the call early in the morning. It's an so, early morning crash way up in the forest, but they didn't have a location on the plane. So, so there, we, there's uh, one uh, fireman or firefighter who's also a chopper pilot, or do you hire a special chopper pilot for the firefighters? Uh, we have... Uh, the chopper side, we have a chopper in Hilo, mm -hmm. chopper one. It's a rescue chopper, it's set up strictly for rescues. And then we have another chopper in uh, South Kohala, Station 14. It's a medical chopper, EMS chopper. Um, it's pretty much set up for transporting medical, uh, medic patients, patients in need of a medic transport. So it'll fly all around the island. Mm -hmm. Mostly uh, if you're in a location far from the hospital. Then so, it'll get dispatched to that area. So say someone's uh, having problems out in the ocean and, and uh, they call the, uh, the chopper, who has to pay for that? Uh, the service is free. Just, uh, so yeah, the service is free. All of our services is pretty much free. You don't get a charge, you know, if your house is on fire. Mm -hmm. The only time you get charged is when you uh, ride the ambulance to the hospital, pretty oh. much. And then that's billed to you, you know, via the, the yeah. state. I see. So other than that, all the other services, whether it's towing a boat in, um, going on a chopper, looking for a swimmer in distress, having to uh, rescue that patient from the water and bring him to shore and stuff, that's all pretty much just... Uh, okay, Darren, what are you doing now? So I'm just finishing up the taste here. I'm just tasting it, see how it's going, adding a little more sugar. Okay. <clears throat> so it's pretty much just to your taste. So actually working for the, uh, the county firefighters, uh, there's never a dull moment because you never know what to expect, huh? Yeah. yeah. Central is, uh, out of all the stations, it's pretty much the biggest station. And it's uh, usually the most busy station. I see. Okay, Don, what you doing now? What I'm going to do now is just ticking it up a bit. Yeah. It's gonna get some uh, yeah. all purpose flour? Yeah. Cornstarch is better, we have flour here. Flour works. So cornstarch is a little more fine. As you see we don't have a cup, so we're just using this ladle here to do our Oh okay. So <laughs> what, what, what you wanna you wanna break break it down in a, in the water so it doesn't oh. Still is lumpy. So, it's so not instead of using yeah. cornstarch, you're using all-purpose flour. I'm using flour, but yeah, cornstarch is better. I forgot to bring the cornstarch. Bring. Sorry. Okay. So uh, actually, what you use is some cornstarch corn to thicken it up a little. Yeah. Or even that you can get that wonder flour. Mm -hmm. That's this for gravy. You can use to thicken it up. But yeah, it's just to thicken it up. Geez, you guys really know how to improvise, yeah. <laughs> so it's about. So it's just going to thicken it up a bit and then I'm going to put our tofu, our watercress and then put the tofu in last so it doesn't break up. Okay. Geez, you firefighters ought to make a cookbook. <laughs> the Hawaii County Firefighters Cookbook uh, and uh, get that out to the public. I think it'll be a winner. <clears throat> And for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194C, Focus on Agriculture. And this evening we're featuring the Hawaii County Firefighters. And uh, we have with us this evening Vern Hara, 
Carl Piers uh, and uh, Chadwick Chun Fat and Ren Victorino, Darwin Okinawa, oh, oh, no, Okinawa Okinaka, <laughs> and also James Pacheco, who had to leave on an emergency call. Are they going to come back uh, after the emergency? I'm or? not sure. Okay. They might or they might not, depending on how long the call takes. Okay, and then now what did you do? So Ab I just well, put the water crest in. Okay. Load the, uh, put the fire down. Just, just, okay. just let it simmer now, had it go in. How, how's the uh, meatballs and the, the pork soup and tomato squid coming? Looking good. Okay. Geez, there's not too many students in the classroom today, so it looks like we're going to really uh, have dinner tonight, huh? Firefighters can eat tonight also. <laughs> That's a little more sugar. So what time do you folks generally have lunch? We try to make it at noon. And dinner? Uh, maybe around 6 or so. Okay. And what station you go. Try to keep it at the same time. You guys have, you know, when when I was a kid, you know, you look in the fire, uh, in the book, uh, story books about firehouse, they got the pole that you guys slide down. So what, what do you got, the sleeping quarters upstairs, and, and then you guys actually use those poles to, to get down to the fire truck downstairs? Yeah, I think only Central is the only uh, station Thank on the island that has uh, the pole. brass poles, yeah. Um, the sleeping quarters is upstairs, but we rarely use, well, our chef, we rarely use the, the, the oh, poles. I see. Yeah. They um, built up doors and stuff around it, kind of closed it off. Oh, because okay. they kind of uh, deem it as a possible hazard. hazard. Oh, if you're half asleep and you try to slide, it's like sliding from up there down. It's a long pole. I see. So there's a good yeah. chance you might slip and fall off. So I guess. And then every and firehouse has a big tower where they. Uh, what, what, is that for hoses. drying out the hose or yeah, something? Not, not yeah, the newer the newer uh, fire stations. They're not really building hose towers, because they got different type of material hoses that doesn't require uh, being dried out. You can oh. just roll it right back up and put it in the fire truck. Awesome. Where in the old days, it was uh, different types of uh, cotton jacket hoses that had to be hung to dry because they would, be, they would get all mildewed in the truck. And I to see. Rot. So the station that you see now with uh, hose towers are usually the older stations, but we have a few newer ones like uh, South Kohala, um, Waikoloa, Keaho. Those are uh, the pretty much newer ones, and they don't—they didn't come out with any. So, do do you have one of these ladder trucks over there at uh, the central fire station? No, we don't. There was uh, only I, one ladder truck, and they had that in Kona. Well, that's for those high rises out there. Yes. Um, I don't know if they still use it or it's out of commission at this time. I think so. Yeah. I think but, I think um, it out of commission. I know at one time they were still keeping it over there just in case as a I secondary see. engine. Okay, Darwin. How's it going? We're just about there. Just so added I just, the tofu? I just, yeah, I just put the tofu in. Final tasting. Okay. So you can, uh, you can actually taste it and you know what to put in there, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, pretty good. Yes. It's not much stuff to decide, oh, to decide upon. Okay, and then, and then that, that's basically done there, huh? Yeah. Just let it, it simmer a little bit. And we, yeah, actually. Okay, and then our final dish is a chocolate pudding, or they call it death by chocolate. That sounds real good. Yeah, no. it, it does, but uh, I don't, unfortunately, I didn't have the cake today. Okay. So I just improvise and just uh, have chocolate pudding and cool it. Okay, so. but, but uh, for, for the recipe, you're going to give me the total recipe for this? Yeah, I, I'll give it to you um, okay. after the show. Okay. Actually. It's supposed to have a, uh, a cake mix. Any oh, kind, any yeah, brand will do. Kind of okay. And uh, I like to put in the the Hershey's. Uh, it's like taffy caramel uh, Hershey bar, and you just chop it up and just put it inside the with the cake mix and cook it. Okay, it's really so good. And uh, it just as a as a box box directs. That's how many, all you how do. many boxes of uh, pudding mix do you? Oh, it's three. Three boxes of jello pudding. Okay. 
That's chocolate pudding. Is that the instant kind or the kind you got to cook? Oh, instant. I can't wait. No, okay. I have to have it now. <laughs> so, all right. Three boxes of uh, instant pudding. Yeah, and then uh, you put some milk inside. Actually, I got it from my mom. So uh, she just told me to take a quarter cup out of each pack. So it's five and a quarter cups total. Okay. I'm glad you did something chocolate because that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you guys always, you know, when you cook dinner, do you always cook a dessert? Yeah, you need a, the recruit to bring the dessert. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> we have this thing at the firehouse that uh, anytime it's the first time you do something, it's a pie and ice cream deal. It's almost every day. So, uh -huh. should, so like that, he just, uh, not that, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so how do you know how much milk to put in? Uh, it's just go by, go by feel, some texture. You kind of want it real thick. Okay. Because with the, uh, with the cake. So you don't want to follow the directions on the, on the jello mix? Oh, you do, yeah, but uh, it's a... Uh, You've done like it I so said, many times, you can just eyeball it, huh? Uh, I wouldn't say done it so many times, but... Still a recruit, maybe yeah. uh, <laughs> after he becomes a regular. Okay. <laughs> you can get into an eyeball. All yeah. right. Yeah. You, you, so. you get a lot of ribbing from the uh, older guys uh, yeah. in the department? Yeah, it comes with the territory, I guess. Is he hasn't it? come online yet, so he's yeah, in training yet. Like this, <laughs> Vernier, sorry, I misnamed him. But he just, they just came on, how long are you guys on now? Beginning of the year. So yeah, yeah how, a couple of months, they just got a EMT class where uh, Carl is in right now. So he, he just started his 24 hour life. So is there, is there so, any kind of, you know, I mean, a tradition that you have in the fire department there where the recruits have to do certain kinds of things or? Uh, I think they kind of went away from, good, yeah. went away from kind of the... In the olden days, the recruits had to do everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. But uh, nowadays, not, it's not really like yeah, that. It kind of got away from that. Uh, different now. Not as good as the olden days. Not like it was before. Us before huh? We treat them too bad nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need the manpower, so we don't want anybody uh, yeah. giving see. up their job because we so. ribbed them too much. So. That's pretty, basically the tradition now is the pie and ice cream deal. Anytime you have a first of anything, it's it's not required, but you got hounded a lot for, for bringing it. If you don't bring it, then... I see. Well, maybe we can get an overhead yeah. shot of that pudding so we can see how uh, Carl is uh, making that pudding so we can see the texture here. Okay. Just poured in some milk. I just kind of eyeballing it. Okay. So... And, and then, uh, so with the cake mix, you, you just bake the cake? Yeah, you just bake it just like the directions on the box. All you, all you add in is that uh, Hershey caramel chocolate bar. And you just okay. kind of just mash it up and cook it with that in there. Kind of gives, mixes up the taste a little bit so you don't have too much chocolate. Which one? Okay. So, no. and then you just layer it. Uh, cake first and then pudding and then the whipped cream right on top. You just layer that twice and it's a pretty, pretty simple dish. Okay. So, with, unfortunately, I don't have the cake, so it's just going to be pudding and whipped cream. Okay. So. So we're just missing the cake today. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. He thought there was an oven. Yeah. But I guess he had a hard time improvising an oven. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We didn't get I, the whole info from our. Uh, yeah. Ordered it there. <laughs> That's all right. But yeah, it's just I'm just stirring it up so I get the right texture. But basically. After this is done, I just got to put on top the whipped cream. Okay. And that's about it. Well, that uh, that sounds like a pretty good dessert uh, to me. Yeah. And so, actually, if you if we had the oven, you'd bake the cake, and then you'd put uh, the cake down. Then you put a layer of chocolate pudding, mm -hmm. and then you put uh, a layer of Cool Whip. Yeah. And then just just twice. So after the Cool Whip, you just put a Another, uh, layer so of cake so on top. once you bake the cake, you kind of cut the cake in half into a uh, bite size, so it can fit in a bowl, and okay. then you just pretty much just scoop it out. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. I tested it out on my my recruit class just uh, a couple days ago, and yeah, it was they liked it. So. I so how how did you pick get picked of all the recruits? <laughs> I was just in the, I guess, in the right spot at the right time. Oh, I see. The chief just told me, just pointed the finger at me and said, you're cooking dessert. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you're the chief, I guess. 
<laughs> I see. Okay. No questions there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, my part's pretty much done. Uh, I just got to put the whipped cream on top and this dessert's ready. Okay. So. Well, uh, when, when are you going to put the Cool Whip on? Are you... uh, I'm just going to soften shall, just sh Shall we go to question and answers already or shall we finish with the... Uh, Pretty much done. Oh, that, okay, the pudding's pretty much done. Why, why don't, uh, well, it, it's right at 8 o'clock, so why don't we go to question and answers? And uh, <clears throat> it's, geez, uh, you guys practice this thing perfect. It's 8 o'clock, so what we're going to do Long is time. we're going to open it up to question and answers. Uh, and for those of you who Good. just joined us, uh, you can uh, give us a call. The numbers are 974 seven seven two six and the other number geez i didn't write that down i still haven't memorized that number it's uh let me see here it's nine nine six one nine zero four six so if you have any questions uh, please give us a call we have the firefighters with us this evening and if you want to know anything about the Hawaii County Fire Department, now's the time to call. And if you have any questions regarding the dishes that were prepared, uh, please give us a call. And uh, for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194C, Focus on Agriculture. And this evening, uh, we had several dishes. We had a porcupine meatball and a pork soup and a tomato squid and pork tofu with watercress, and finally a dessert, a chocolate pudding, and they call it death by chocolate. So while we uh, wait for some phone calls, uh, do, does anyone in the classroom have a question for our guests this evening? Uh, tonight uh, we don't, okay, we have two callers, so Class, you're off the hook. Uh, will the first cla uh, caller let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Hi, we're calling from UH Hilo and we have two questions. Okay, go ahead. The first question is, what is the criteria to become a fireman's wife? Okay, <laughs> uh, that's a good question for the firefighters. Whoa. I don't know. <laughs> you want to become a wife before he's a fireman? Or you want to marry a fireman? Right place, or right fire place. Firefighter, right. excuse me, language. You should marry a fireman. Right place, I don't know, right I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Right place, right time. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm sure it's just the same way as you'll meet anybody else. I'm not sure. Okay, well, maybe you can Nine call one. the fire department. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, they can answer Single? it and give you, a, give you an answer. So. Uh, we'll take the next caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Hello. Hi, where are you calling from? Uh, Hilo, Hawaii. Okay, and uh, your question? Oh, about the squid. Okay. Where did they catch the squid? Okay, firefighters. <laughs> uh, that's not octopus. That's a squid, which is Ika. Okay. And, um, is it from Kaneohe Bay? <laughs> Not Kaneohe Bay. I think it's caught at a uh, supermarket. KTA supermarket. Must have been Daryl Chan's fats, but huh? <laughs> no, no, this is a commercial one. Oh, not from Daryl? No. <laughs> that, sounds like your friend calling in there. Huh? Yeah. Sounds like a Dennis okay. call. Okay. Okay, Dennis. Okay. Thank you. Thank. Thank you very much for calling. <laughs> you got a coming here. <laughs> I think we have another caller. Uh, oh, we have no callers. All right. Okay, so uh, again, for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194C, Focus on Agriculture. And this evening we're featuring the firefighters, uh, the county firefighters here. And we, we have another caller, so we'll take the next caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Hello. Calling from KL. Okay, and your question? Uh, your watercress. Okay. Is it bought or did they pick it? Okay. It's fire, bought. Fire? Yeah, yeah we, we got it from the supermarket. Straight from the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have much time to go out and look for watercress, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. Uh, okay. Welcome. Well, thank you for calling from KL. And do we have another caller? We have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Hello, I'm calling from Kailu Kailua Kona. Okay, from Kailua Kona. And your question? Well, I have. Uh, thank you very much for your program. I've enjoyed it and ordered your cookbooks. Okay. And um, could you make the binding a lot stronger, maybe using wire instead of plastic <laughs> for the cookbook? <laughs> Well, I'll anyway, take I'll take that under advisement. It's okay. good. Question. Okay. Do the firemen have a class uh, about budget and menu? As far as they have like a seven dollars a day per person or something. Okay. So oh. firefighters, uh, how much do they give you to? We do have a budget. It's, it's seven dollars a day. Yeah. Per seven dollars a person. Yeah, do you have a class to? Try no. and figure out like uh, what you can purchase. How to spend it? No, no, no. There's no class. No. It's we just. Oh, go okay. Over. Everything, everything looks very oh no. <laughs> Thank you. But I have a question about patis. Okay. Do you have a certain brand that is a higher quality than another? Well, we can, we cannot uh, advertise any particular brand. Oh. So what you do okay. is you buy the different brands and taste them and yeah. and then you figure okay. out which is the best. Just remember, we have okay. a budget. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, um, well, pork tofu, I was going to suggest maybe frying a little opai in there also with the pork. Sure, you could do that. Yeah, that would okay. be good. Okay, thank you so much. I enjoy your program. Okay, well, thank you for calling from Kailua Kona. And I believe we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello, you're on the air. Um, hi. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Oahu. Okay, and your question? My question is for Ren. Okay, Ren. Yes, I want to know, why do you guys use so many tomatoes and salt? Because you guys are firefighters. Is, wouldn't that lead to high blood pressure? And the tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, Tomato. tomatoes. I mean, it's up to you, you know, how much you want to use. Use it for the lycopene. Because that looked like a lot of tomatoes and salt. We like, uh, we like our tomatoes. And Ren, so. Ren. Yes? You're looking boss. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man, you got your fans out there, Ren. All right. <laughs> Do you have another question Gee, the for the salt and tomato, not too bad. <laughs> part of the cutting process. Okay, we have another caller. Thank you very much for calling from Oahu. Thank you. Uh, we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Uh, hello. Hi, where are you calling from? Um, hello. Okay, and your question? Um, I had a question about your the pork water question. Did okay. they add um, chicken broth to uh, the water crust? Did they use chicken broth? Yes. Uh, did we or could we? I didn't yes, use. Way. I didn't use chicken broth. I guess you could if you want to, for for gravy purposes. What was your ingredients again? Just I just fried up the pork. Just sh okay. uh, show you sugar, some uh, mirin, okay. cooking white wine, huh? um, salt and pepper, and that's basically it. With some onions and gar uh, garlic chopped up. How much water did you add to the soup? Actually, I didn't. I didn't add water. Or no water. Yeah. Or just when I so just when like I thickened it up, I put mixed the flour with water, and that's about it. Okay. But you know, if you wanted to make it more soupy or a little more gravy, you could add more water. But the okay. when I fried the pork, just whatever water was like in the meat, whatever there was enough gravy for me to use, so I didn't add any more. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for calling from Hilo. We have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, uh, please? I'm yes. calling from Hilo. Okay. And your question? I have a question for the recruit. Okay. Uh, what is he going to cook the first night he's a real fireman? Okay. Uh, that's, uh, I guess that's Carl, huh? Yeah. That's uh, my roommate. I, I can tell his voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bunch of them there. Yeah, huh? I guess all of them are there. I, I have no idea. I have 
I have five months still to think that about That is it. a good plan, though. It's so. just something to think Does about. Does he have any nicknames? No, I don't. <laughs> well, he's going to get some good he's... ideas from tonight's class. <laughs> we'll give him a I recipe. think he's called Coco. Coco? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> oh, you got Coco your fans the out there. Jeez. Oh, you got thank another? Thank you. Okay, well, thank Goodbye, you. Goodbye, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for calling from Hilo. Uh, it looks like you folks have your friends out there. We have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Yeah, I'm calling from Hilo. Okay, and your question? Yeah, I want to know uh, from, the, from the firefighters. Age. Okay. How many days on did they work and how many days off? Okay, uh, who wants to take that? You were there. Um, we work three days a rotation for 24 hours a shift. We have three shifts. So we go like 24 hours on, 24 off for three days, like maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then we have four days off, and then we start a rotation again. Basically, that's, that's okay. what it comes to. Right. Does that Thank answer you very the much. question? Uh, Brian look good. Yeah, hey, right on, thanks. Okay, do you have yeah, another bye -bye. question? No, that's it. Okay, well, thank you for calling from Hilo, and we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from, and go ahead with the question, please. Hello? Hi, where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from uh, IEA Oil. Okay, and your question? Uh, I just wanted to know uh, when you're going to show the final uh, product, the chocolate pudding he was working on. Okay, uh, oh. can we get an overhead shot of the chocolate pudding with the cream uh, whip, cream on it, or the cool whip? Yeah, it's, uh, there it is. It's kind of just, right, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I no, just, there's uh, supposed to be some cake in there, and uh, finished product, uh, just, okay, I guess, save bowls, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for calling from Aia on Oahu, and uh, I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from, and go ahead with the question, please. Yes, hi, I'm calling from Kaneohe. Okay. Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> and your question. And my question, <laughs> yes, my question is, you know, I, does everybody have a chance at cooking? At the fire station? Yes. Uh, Darwin? Yes, or? yes, they do. Call me on my private line. Everyone has a chance. <laughs> Except Whether, for the recruits, okay, and huh? So, well, what if someone makes a dish that you folks don't enjoy? What happens? Then he might not cook again. That, that all depends on how he cooks. He might have another chance, but if it's that terrible, then maybe we'll have him wash the dishes for everyone or cook the rice if he can accomplish that. But, Bullets. you know, <laughs> yeah, he, he <laughs> could mess that up also. But yeah, we try oh, to get everybody involved in, in the kitchen. Oh, that's good. Well, so you folks pretty much help them learn to cook if they can't cook. We can try. If they don't know by the time they get here, well, I don't know if we can teach them anything. <laughs> but yeah, if they want to learn, we can try and help them. But we, you know, we're not professionals ourselves, so. Good ah! recipe books. Yeah. yeah. Did you say your name was Vicky? <laughs> it's not Kaneohe. <laughs> okay. Does yeah, that from Kaneohe. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I have one more question on the pork tofu. Okay. Um, you both use the pork butt, but say you don't want to cook that much. What type of pork would you buy if you just want a smaller portion? You, I mean, you can just go and... I don't cook meat. You can just go and buy the trays of chopped pork if you want to. Or if you want to go with pork loin, if you want something more lean, you can go with the loin or something, whatever you want to use uh, according to your uh, diet. And you, you can know. substitute... Chicken. Sure. That would be good, in fact. <laughs> Even okay. Liver. It sounds good. Thanks. It is. We can't wait to taste it. <laughs> you have another question for the firefighters? No, actually, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, thank you for calling from Kaneohe there on Oahu. And we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello. Hello. Yes, where are you calling from? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm calling from, from Mohuli. Okay. Is that yeah, on Oahu? Well? For Carol Pierce. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, um, for EMT, how much do you have to study? Ooh, good question. Just as much as you, Rob. 
I just I just follow you. Okay, that's Carl's uh, buddy calling in, huh? Yeah, he's in the same class with me. Him and the other guy before had Whoa. nothing else better to do. They should be studying. <laughs> I don't know okay. what they're doing on the phone. Uh, he, he's lucky he didn't have to come on tonight, huh? Yeah. He was Might in the right the next place. Time, guys. Keep talking. We be calling. Okay. Do you have another question? I oh, guess. Oh no, that is all. Have a good night. Thanks. Okay. Well, thank you for calling, and I good think time. we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? I got mail. Oh. Well. Uh, I didn't get that question. We get all <laughs> kinds of phone calls, so uh, thank you for calling. Uh, we'll take the next caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Hello, you're on the air. Thank you. Yes, where are you calling uh, from? My question is... Okay. How much of a, a menu do each one has to prepare? You mean uh, how, how large? In other words, rice, what, this, that, that much, goes with the menu for the night. How much course is like? Yeah, I think that's the yeah. So one typical night at the fire station, what do you folks prepare? Usually two courses. We try to make at least, you know, two do dishes. Do you have a salad? Yeah, yeah toss salad. salad. Toss salad. Usually toss yeah. salad, yeah. Cook rice, toss salad. Toss, and macaroni, or? Oh, sometimes way. macaroni. And, uh, mostly toss, but yeah. So you need always rice or macaroni mostly, or? <laughs> mostly rice. Yeah, usually we cook rice. Not everyone eats it, but we do have a pot of rice always there. No holiday food. <laughs> toss <Okay>. salad. <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry. No more potato. Potato. Baked potato. potato. Sometimes we make mashed potatoes. Potato. Instead of and rice. potato salad? Potato, yeah. Potato macaroni salad. Depending on what we're making, I guess. Or who's, okay. or who's cooking. Thank but, you. you yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for <laughs> calling. Like said, and I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hi. Hi, where are you calling from? Hi. I'm calling from Macaulay, Oahu. Okay, Macaulay, yes, I know where that is. Go ahead okay, with the question. Okay, well, anyway, for you firemen, you folks pretty look good, and so as a cook, so you show that. Yes. But I, I don't have no complaint, but. You know, for the uh, meatballs, can you use Chinese parsley? Sure, you can, you can add Chinese parsley to that. They say, yes, you can. If you like Chinese parsley, just chop it up and put it in there. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, as for the, uh, let's see now, the uh, pork and watercress. Okay, pork can tofu. Can you add a burgi? Sure, that'd be good, in fact. It's out of our budget. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, you could chop up yeah, some I'm not downing. I'm not downing you guys, but <laughs> no, no, no. I just kind of try to add some no. spice in there. Yeah, that will work. Anyway, keep up the good work, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Mahalo. Okay. okay, thank you for calling uh, from Macaulay, I guess, over there on Oahu. Uh, I think we have one more caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Hello. Hi, where are you calling Hello, from? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kauai. Okay. And I'm waiting to see the spread of all the food that they prepared tonight. Okay. Uh, can you take the lids off the pot? And then we're going to have the overhead camera uh, go pan over each one. And then uh, they can tell us what... Uh, okay, what is that now? <clears throat> can you see the screen? What is that? That so is soup. the uh, pork pork tomato soup. squid, right? That's a pork soup. So pork soup. Oh, pork soup. Yeah. Okay, pork First soup, line. and then why don't we go to the next one? The so second there dish. The meatballs. Okay, that's porcupine the meatballs. Meat the the, the porcupine meat. meatballs. Yeah. Okay. This one here is the squid. Okay, that is the uh, squid. A lot of gravy, hard to see. Tomato squid. Okay, and then we have. Uh, 
on the pork tofu with watercress. And there's a pork tofu watercress. Yeah. And then we also have the, the dessert right there. there there's the uh, death by chocolate or chocolate pudding. It's supposed to have actually a cake underneath that, but uh, uh, we don't have an oven, so we couldn't cook to bake the cake. Does that answer the question from Kauai? Uh, yes. Uh, why do they call it a porcupine uh, meatball? Okay, we'll have... Uh, There's uh, raw... Ran. I put in raw rice, so after the rice cooks, it'll stick up out of the meatballs. So that's why we call it a porcupine uh, meatballs. That's the porcupine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. is this uh, fireman, um, how you... Let's see now, uh, how... We serve straight from the pot. How we serve our, our food? Right. Exactly. See how you see it here? It's basically how we dig it right off of the stove. Bigger pots. No dishes. So that's everyone goes eating. there with a big ladle and just pours it on their plate. Yeah, yeah we just scoop it out of the pots and right in our plate. We don't <laughs> set it up. That's a little too much time. More dishes oh, for us no to wash. Oh, no Sam Chai specials here. Excuse me? Well, the firefighters no here, they, they don't play it up. Fancy wancy. No, 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 no. No exotic stuff. Down the hat. We just get down the to business. Food. <laughs> yeah. All shovels. You guys are doing great. Thank you. Um, I guess firemen have a reputation for making good food. That's right. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, well thank you for calling from Kauai. And uh, I think we have another caller. Could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with your question. Hello. Please. Yes, where are you calling from? You're on. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Where are you calling from? Maybe our technicians can ask them where they're calling from. Hello. And Hello. I hear you. We hear you, but go ahead. Uh, let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Did we lose Hi, this question is for Ren. Yes. Okay, Ren. Okay, Sue. Go ahead. <laughs> Maybe our technicians in Technical the back can tell the caller to go ahead with the question da, for Ren. Da, 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 da. I'm thinking about... Oh, I'm sorry, Ren. She hung up. It's okay. <laughs> okay, we'll take I'm the here. next. We know where she's Okay, uh, <laughs> where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kanye downstairs. Okay, and... Uh, your question. Yeah. My oh. question is for all these firemen. Okay. Since they do a lot of cooking, have they ever tried using the tulips luncheon meat? The what kind of luncheon meat? The tulip luncheon tulip meat. Tulip luncheon meat. Thank you for calling. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, have what? tried using that yet? I haven't even heard of that tulip luncheon meat before, sorry. <laughs> I can yes, it's, it's a big thing over here in Oahu. Yeah, you know how you guys always get stuff before we do, so yeah. I mean, we, never, we never reach here yet, I think. Oh, yeah? Oh. I'm a budget. Okay. Somebody in Audi just said they did. I'm sorry. I, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with that. No oh, worries. Just one problem. Yes, okay, okay. <laughs> Send some over no, to the... Seriously, uh, and I and Augie, they talk about it all the time. And it, it, is, it is here. Good. Oh, yeah? Is it good? I haven't tried it. That's why I'm calling you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have tried the squid and the tomato, and that's good. All right. <laughs> but I have not tried the lunch meat. Okay. And I tried calling his private line. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for calling. And I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Oh, I call it from uh, Captain Cook. Okay. And your ca uh, question, please. Oh, I'd like to ask about uh, tofu. The pork tofu, okay, yeah, go uh, ahead. Yeah, the pork tofu one, what a question. <laughs> Instead of where I uh, uh, use white sugar, can you use brown? Sure. You can use brown That's sugar. Right, yeah, you can use brown sugar. Yeah. Oh, and uh, you can put the uh, uh, mushroom? Sure. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. You got a good cook, too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for calling from Captain Cook. Uh, you can put all those ingredients in, but you got to remember that the firefighters have a certain budget, and they can't go over their budget when they prepare their meals. 
I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Second. Yeah, how's it? Hi, where are you calling from? Uh, Puna. Okay, Puna, and your question. Yeah, actually, no one question. Okay. I uh, just wanted to let these guys know uh, they're doing a good job for our community, and uh, you guys solid, you know, you guys must all be in harmony for put each other's life in each other's hands. There you go fight fires and stuff like that. But uh, another thing, too, is what happened if you guys cook one? On unreal dinner, then boom, you guys got to leave. But the food just stay out, or you guys, what? Just sit. Maybe on the microwave. Yeah. yeah. If we started eating already, we oh, probably just wow. cover them up, put them in our microwave, oven, or the fridge, or we never start eating. Yeah, we just got to cover them up and go. Bombers, eh? Yeah. You guys got to come back. <laughs> All tired. Yeah. Hard for eat, eh? Yeah. That's All right on, brothers. Mahalo for what you guys do. Aloha. Aloha. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, well, thank you for calling from Pune, and I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from, and go ahead with the question, please. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, calling from Hilo. Okay, and your question? Uh, this is a question for the firefighters. Uh, okay. Like your cooking. This has nothing to do with cooking. Okay. Um, volunteer firefighters and regular firefighters. What is the difference? You have to go through the same training as volunteer firefighters, as the same as regular firefighters. Okay, who wants to answer that? No, it's actually different. I don't think the volunteers have a class kind of, you know, type of training. I know we have a volunteer captain in the fire department that goes out to all of the um, volunteer departments and he, he trains them on his own. So it's basically the same type of training, just not as in-depth and it, you know, it's spread out whenever he can get there so you know it's not like a every day five day a week training for so many months the volunteers you know they're training just whenever they have time to get together and i guess on their own you know with the older volunteers they can train on their own also but the exact type of schedule they have i'm not sure and they don't go i think i don't think they go through any kind of medical i don't know if they go to like first aid kind of training or anything but no emt or MICT. Yeah. Uh, they're not EMTs unless they go on their own. But okay, does that answer the question from Hilo? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Okay, so, thank you very much. We have one more call. This will be the last caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Hi, I had a question for uh, f firefighter recruit Vern Hara. Okay, Vern, step up the center there. And nice, yeah, I was just wondering if this was his uh, first time appearing a, on a cooking show. Swing, good job. Who's this caller? That's Jimmy, yeah. He's still been pine ice cream tomorrow. All right. So we just, uh, See, now we have some dessert for the next year. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, um, the boys back at Central Fire Station said, uh, Lance, Lance. mint chocolate chip will do. All right. <laughs> Thank you, MICT Uchido. But they look good up there, make us proud. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. well, thank you for calling from Hilo. Time's up. And we've uh, run out of time. I'd like to thank the uh, Hawaii County Fire Department, uh, especially uh, uh, Lloyd, uh, was it Lloyd uh, Narimatsu. Narimatsu, the Assistant <laughs> Fire Chief, for setting the program up tonight. We hope that you'll join us next Thursday when we have the Hilo Visayan Club. We'll do some Filipino cooking. This is Jack Fuji saying thank you for watching and have a good evening. My sister was before that, my friend Dennis. No more place like that for a game. It was a room up. That's good. Let me hear that. Oh, my feeling. Okay, I'm going to bring some plates out.